Namaste, I'm Ramacharya. In the previous video we saw what the causes of back pain are and that is a serious, overwhelming and growing problem that modern society faces right now. If you haven't seen this video yet, go ahead and click on the left upper corner when it says previous video. Watch it so you can better understand what are we are talking about and then you can come back and watch this one. Now, in this video we will see what are the three aspects of our existence so do, that we can understand where the problem is coming from and we can target it and eliminate it much more easily and efficiently. Ok, so here are the five aspects of our body and the definition of stress according to yoga. Man's body of gross matter consists of tissues constructed of molecules. Molecules are made of atoms, atoms are formed by electrons and protons. Electrons and protons consist of intelligent life force or prana. And prana can be further resolved into its source or pure consciousness. We are not physical beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. We are in essence pure consciousness pure awareness that has a body. In fact, yoga teaches that we have several bodies and the yogi sees the body as a vehicle for the soul in its journey toward enlightenment. In the Bhagavad Gita, one of the most important yoga scriptures of all times, Lord Krishna teaching yoga to his friend Arjuna says, Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us cease to be, as the embodied soul continuously passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes to another body at death. A sober person is not bewildered by such a change. So why would you need to know all this? Well, first of all, because it's the ultimate truth in the whole of creation, and second of all, because if you don't understand the basics uh, it will be much more difficult later on for you to solve not only your back problems with yoga but many other ailments if you need to. So we have three bodies and the first one is the physical body also known as Anamaya Kosha. This is the physical body as we know it. This visibly dense body is born, grows, changes, decays and then dies. The second one is the astral body. The astral body is connected to the physical body by a subtle thread along with vital current path. This is the body that we live in after physical death. The astral body is composed by three layers or sheets or so called koshas. The first one is the pranic sheet, pranamaya kosha. The pranic sheet is made of 72,000 nadis or astral tubes through which prana or the vital energy flows. Now, I want to point out something really important that is real pain for most of us, and this is the fear of death. I will talk about death and dying and what happens uh, to us after we die, according to the yoga teachings, and how we can eliminate the fear of death completely in another video series, but for now just want to remind you guys, so you can see we don't have to fear death. We already know, so I am saying to you now, nothing happens after we die. I mean, you just switch bodies, like garments literally, you just pass through different dimensions of existence, that's all. What happens when two people speak on the phone and suddenly the communication cuts off? What happens to the people behind the phone? Nothing, just certain lines of communication has been switched off. Ok, we'll talk about that in another video. The next layer of the astral body is the mental sheet or Manomaya Kosha. This sheet is comprising the mind as well as the instinctive and subconscious portions. This layer is very restless by nature, especially when it's constantly bombarded by the five senses in our daily activities. Next is the intellectual sheet or Vijnamaya Kosha. The intellect controls the automatic mind. With it, we are able to discriminate and make decisions. The third body is called the bliss body or casual body or Anandamaya Kosha. The casual body is where only experience of happiness and joy reside. 
The casual body stores the subtle impressions of all past good and bad actions you made in your life and in all your past lives. These subtle impressions control the formation and growth of the two other bodies and determine every aspect of your next physical birth. At the time of death, both the casual and the astral bodies which remain together are separated from the physical body. Okay, so we have covered what are the three aspects of our existence so that we can understand where the problem is coming from and how we can eliminate it much more easily and efficiently. In the next video we will learn what are the most common causes of back pain and how we can solve them. If you liked this video don't forget to subscribe or like it and I'll see you in the next one. I am Ramacharya and I bow to the Divine within you. Namaste. Bye.